What's going on guys, welcome back to an episode of Life Made Easy, and today I'm going to be showing you the new Android Air Oreo, Oreo update on the LG G6, let's get it right into it. Yeah, I'm like, oh god, oh, oh my god. Okay, so guys, um, some of the major, um, things that I said in this update that are coming to the LG G6, uh, one of which is the, um, option to actually long press on an app. Similar to Apple, uh, what they do with the pressure sensitivity where you can bring up more options now. Um, so they now have that. Um, so if you just, for example, hold down YouTube, you can now see it brings up options such as trending, subscriptions, and search. And yeah, let's get out of YouTube. Um, and if you want to just delete the app, you can just continue to hold it down and go to the top and delete it. But you can't delete YouTube, obviously, because it's a Google app. Um, so that's a major thing that's changed. Uh, another major thing they've added is something called picture and picture mode. So if I could just find an app that uses it, you can use, um, Google Maps for this. Let's load that up. So say you want to go to, I don't know, pizza. And you're getting directions. Click start. Yeah, my phone's really laggy today, but whatever. And if you just click the home button, you can now see it brings up a little box here, which you can, if you tap it, you can make it a little bigger. And if you wait a little longer, it'll shrink down in size again. And if you want to go back into it, you just click that again. There we go. So let's exit out of that. And what's cool about it is it will not con completely shut down the app for maps. So you have to go up top and click exit navigation. Just do that. So that's really simple. Um, the notification bar got a little change. I think it's more organized now. Um, see how it like makes some smaller. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, they changed the battery saver icon here. I noticed, and so the main main part that they've changed is in the settings. The settings app is completely different now. It's much more um, organized in the way that they put more stuff in like bigger categories rather than having so many different subcategories. Um, so let me think. Your display, one new thing they have is that for comfort view, you can now schedule it. So I have mine scheduled from 11.15 to 6 a.m. So that's pretty cool, you can schedule it now. Um, and you can adjust it here. Let me think, let me think. And it looks the same. So now they have the network and internet. It's all the same color, which makes it easy. Um, oh yeah, another big thing was the battery. They like re, they reworked the battery app to show all the app usage stuff. Um, Apparently this is supposed to give you better screen on time. Um, I'm not sure. I did. I think I got slightly better screen on time when using this for a day. The new update, but I'm not quite sure. Um, I could be wrong. You guys, let me know. Uh, accessibility. Blah, blah, blah. Anything new here? Mm, I don't think so. But uh. One thing there is, oh, not that. Uh, if you go to system, about phone, uh, software info, Android version, if you tap that, you can get the little Easter egg. And you'll get the squid to pop up, which is 
Kind of cool. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty stupid, but. So yeah, major some some uh, minor tweaks. Oh yeah, I remember what I was gonna say. The um, app icons under home screen right here. Yeah, icon shape. They now have. I changed mine. They had original round square round. Cylinder. I'm going with around. I think that looks the best. Themes. Same themes. Um, nothing new there. So yeah, just major rework for the settings app. That's about it. Uh, one thing, I think they have new widgets. Slightly. Some new widgets. Let me check. They also have new wallpapers, which is pretty cool. As you can see, they have a couple new ones. Um, I wonder if they have new live wallpapers. I'm not sure. Whatever. Uh, let me go to widgets. Yeah, I think there's some slightly new ones you guys can tell me. I can't really remember. Oh, yeah, this one was new. The smart cleaning optimized one. Where if you just want to, like, delete files that are not running... Which is pretty cool. Back then on the old Android uh, software, you had to go into um, the settings and do all that, which is kind of annoying. So yeah, just some major like visual changes. Another big one was uh, the camera. Camera is now reworked. Um, this looks more like the LG V30 with the shutter button there. Um, still no portrait mode. I don't think so. Mesh off. They have a lot of modes, but sadly they do not. They do not have. Uh, I can't even think. They don't have uh, portrait. Yeah, but if you go, if you download the Google camera, I'm pretty sure you can get that. Um. So yeah, those are some. Some of the major changes that have come to LG G6. If you guys have any that I haven't mentioned here, please be sure to let me know. Uh, performance, I feel like it's made my phone slightly faster. Uh, battery life may be slightly improved. I wouldn't say a dramatic change, but definitely good to have an update. Um, this took forever for the LG G6, over a year. Or is it over a year? Maybe a little less than a year to come out to it, so that's kind of a pain waiting for those updates when on the Google Pixel you get them absolutely immediately. So that's something to take into account if you want to buy a LG phone. Their updates don't come as fast. Um, so yeah, uh, you got these options now when you hold stuff down. Pretty cool. Probably use that a little uh, when going into subscriptions or trending or whatever. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any more changes uh, that you noticed that I didn't, comment down below. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell. Go check out my last video that I posted. I'll put a card in the top right corner. Uh, if you have any video ideas, let me know. I'm uh, always listening to my audience. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you want. I post on there regularly. Um, anything else? I don't know. Uh, do all that good stuff. Oh, like the video. Liking the video helped me out uh, greatly. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Turn on for the watch. Prezi playing Jane. <laughs> Yamagini chain. Rest in peace to my superior. Hermes, Lincoln, Fida Village in Liberia. TMZ taking pictures causing my hysteria.